Tier 3v3 Estia Province blue team. Its Frenchman plays a lick to Alpha Melee Specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt with some awesome offense and a little bit of support as well. Alongside is Finale plays an Apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura. This is some Blood Ravens. And alongside is Xenos Heresy plays a Grey Knight Brother Captain and he's grey so that's good enough for me. Durable commander that walks through cover and cannot be suppressed. Very good offense and support fights in melee combat to red team. Lost Son of Nickel plays a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander walks through cover and cannot be suppressed, very good offense and disruption, fights in melee combat. Alongside him, Frozen Vapor is a Warp Spider Exarch teleporting commander that fights range combat, great for capping and harassing early on with lots of crowd control and other general annoyances later. And rather out red team is C Joker plays a Plague Champion, starts out range combat with his damage over time, Bolter can get melee weapons. Good utility can build turrets and repair, but it's very slow. Kicking off in the mid. Double Dire Avengers. Walks for Rexarch is there. It's Apothecary and Brother Captain. A pretty powerful combo, I think. Kill Space Marines. Are they trying to force melee on the Apothecary? I think they are. The champion is being chased down by the Brother Captain. The Brother Captain starts with a 30 DPS power melee weapon. So it can take chunks of health from a commander early on. Walks Rex up being shot to pieces by triple stormtroopers and has to teleport out. Walks carry in retreat. Walks Rex up is still in play behind heavy cover but might go down as he retreats here. And in fact, does a good first engagement for blue team. And there is Viada Hammer. You might have noticed a bunch of changes to SDR in beta 9. Many people thought it was too wide in general. I tended to agree, so I've changed it. The powers natural eastern powers which were on the raised platforms are now much more central there is still a contested power all the way out in the east which you can grab and maybe build up for a huge advantage later if you can defend it the raised platforms are now kind of dead zones but you can use them to flank down down into an enemy power if they're defending it with setup teams or something and this node does go down other things there's this big huge shot blocker generally wasn't enough shot blockers so some of them have been lengthened and stuff and around the park there's a bunch of shot blockers now where it was all completely open before which got a bit crazy late game when everything was flattened it was basically just a huge open field which is not ideal generally it's red at the moment over there 2475463 -4 heretics with an aspiring champion in retreat shrugging setting up right in the face of this stuff those scouts almost wiped out but the carry with purification vials I've been seeing this a lot recently and it's been incredibly painful for the enemy whenever I've seen it. Does a lot of damage in its detonation area if you stick around, gotta move the heck away. Flight grenades of course, pretty damn nice now, no sign of them though. We do have a power harass, the changes to the map have made it into a massive brawl all over the map at all times pretty much. It's kind of intense, we'll see how these players handle it you get very little downtime generally speaking double aspiring champion heretics over here for lost son of Nickel and he's going for some noise from him. did he lose a squad not sure Teuton cap early on for blue we have triple stormtroopers one with a sergeant and Xeno Serity straight into some interceptors teleporting infantry that fight melee combat great for countering range squads in general but can hold their own in melee combat into tier 2 if you upgrade them quite well especially with the brother captain buffs and the nice global buffs that grey knights have 462442 kill space marines with eternal war gives them a flat 20% more damage melee and range combat and howling banshees are up they already have the aspect of fleetness they can jump over cover and are incredibly dangerous for heavy infantry He's up against an apothecary and a grey knight player so lots of heavy infantry around but we do have those triple stormtroopers at the moment 462426 we could see an incredibly nasty plasma grenade spike on those triple stormtroopers they're incredibly bunched up as you see there but he's not going for it has not spotted the opportunity frozen vapor really should have spotted that I think maybe he's going for it now 
purification vials used. As you can see, there it is, a bit too late. Almost whacked his own banshees who jump all the way over all of that cover. Purification vials did quite a lot of work there, I think. See, Joker still has his plague champion in play and he's going for fetid armor. Excellent upgrade, I think. Awesome piece of war gear. You can not only stop melee squads in their tracks, but you can just walk the plague champion into a ranged blob. They think, what the hell is he doing? And then you unholy stench to all of them. In fact, he's just cancelled that fetid armor after I talked about it and is now getting black grenades. They actually synergize quite well with each other since you can suppress straight into a grenade throw. Haven't been seeing what's going on on the west side at the moment. Chaos Lord is capping, Noise Marines hitting power with their Sonic Blast, an awesome ranged weapon, area of effect, good damage, also disables ranged weapons and abilities and shakes down structures. Loving Noise Marines more and more. They are in most of my build orders these days in team games. Brother Captain coming over. There's Chaos Space Marines and Havocs, though double CSM and Havocs, in fact, very solid opening for Chaos. If you can counter initiate setup the uh, jump squads, I should say. And he doesn't have his heretics to do that, Sea Joker. Also doesn't have a sword or something. He's gone for those black grenades, which could be good. If you can judge the jump. But there is is interceptors to jump instantly, so that's gonna be a bit more difficult. 443, 393, lick to alpha. Lurking around. What is he up to? Looked like he was gonna jump then, but he can't get that until tier two. He's got these oh he put his pheromones up, that's why he had the 443-393. He's double Hormagaunts reinforcing off that pheromone. You can tell by that green muck on the floor. And they are going to outlast those double heretics. And almost took both of them down. Wow. Pheromones winning the engagement. But they did bleed a lot. 443-393. But he's still got a whole bunch of wrecks. So not that much really. But Gary standing there. Taking shots. Here come Noise Marines, really good synergy with setup teams, Noise Marines, suppression teams I should say. Suppress a target so it can't move and then run in, lay on all of this area effect damage. Can't run in to tie you up because they're suppressed and it's very painful. Nice retreat grenades from Frozen Vapor, almost wiping those scouts who do have shotguns and a sergeant. So he didn't want to lose those guys, 443, 393, it's one to one. Blue team seems to have done quite well in engagement so far, but red team haven't lost a large amount of squads, so they're coming back into the engagement zone each time. Interceptors forcing off the Havocs immediately, maybe perhaps could have used the garrison there, because he doesn't have grenade launchers up on his stormtroopers. 443-393. Red team do have the way out here, contested power. And this one as well. This one's a lot harder to build stuff on though because it's right in the middle of a whole bunch of fighting. 443-393. Still. Red team will take the west though. Contested. And is this triple Hormagons? It is. Wow. Into Warriors. This is going to be pretty nuts. Bet he wishes he was a plague champion with a touch of Nurgle right about now. These guys are debuffed. By something. What did Elixir Alpha do? Oh, he's got. What does he have? What were they debuffed by? Not sure. I thought he had Toxin Miasma or something, got hit in. Heretics also charging into this blob of former Gaunts, and there is the Blood Maul. That's what he's gone for. Could have gone for this, or he could have gone for his claws and gone straight for the Warriors and torn them down. Blood Maul is also though very fun to use that ability. Was it called Sweeping Doom? Yes. And Harness of Rage as well, so that's going to buff his melee damage and takes down a Warrior Rude model. We're almost certainly going to see melee synapse in tier 2. Maybe Gene Stealers, that would be nuts. If he gets triple Endless Swarm Horn Gene Stealers and melee synapse and Elixir Alpha. Fully kitted out Elixir Alpha as well. This is Beta 9 and the Tier 3 squad leaders for Hormagaunts and Termagants were outright removed from the game. They were causing problems in terms of their implementation. Buffs were getting kind of screwed up with the way that the Tyranids work as they go up through the tiers. I'm not sure if that was the only reason or Keltos just decided that they 
wasn't the direction he wanted to take Tyranids and remove them. This is beta, of course, so things are going to get implemented and removed as Keltos sees fit. And those guys are gone, and it's a decent decision, I think, all in all. It was probably the only Elite Mod addition that really caught me by surprise, the Tier 3 squad leaders for Tyranids. Is Chaos Lord going to die? Three hit points, one hit points, it does go down. 414. 378 the apothecary throwing the purification vials at his feet as you saw earlier it seemed to do a reasonable amount of damage to that chaos lord box for Rexark is taking on hormagaunts oh they're getting debuffed by the pheromones i believe is that right does it debuff as well wow doesn't say on the tooltip but i think it does do something not sure 396 378, maybe someone can clear it up for me in the comments. Frenchman lost one of his former gaunts. Does he have melee synapse up? He doesn't. What is he, what is he waiting for? Maybe he wants a tyrant guard or something. Grey Knight Dreadnought is up with a plasma cannon. Gives it this kind of short range artillery weapon. Very, very powerful on a 1300 hit point. Walker, though. That's going to be nasty to those double CSM for sure. Tier 3 for Lost Son of Nickel. He's going straight in there. Maybe some Lightning Claw Terminator. Does he have a bunch of radios? 306, not too far away. Plague Champion is down here. And Blue Team have fully built up this power over here. So they have three full gen farms. Yes, wow. Oh, this one's not full. Been hit. Eldar going to get flanked. Walk Spiders on the field. Perhaps called in from the global bar of the Warp Sword Exarch. That's a Plasma Cannon setting up. Aspiring Champion Heretics are level 2. And the Aspiring Champion is getting mobbed by Tyranids. And since he is a die last squad leader, all of the Heretics will die. And that's what happens. That is so annoying. And that is what makes the Lictor Alpha such a pain in the ass for Heretics. That Flesh Hook picking out the spraying champion like that. War top drop. Painful. She got a slight buff actually in beta 9. I think she's up to 750 hit points now. Yes she is. Capillary tower will go down immediately. That's a very bad place to put it. 337, 378. Down it goes. Giving these guys a bunch of XP. They are level 3 already. 333, 378. And this power is going to go down. Plasma can hits pretty much everything like a truck. That DPS value doesn't seem very high because it does it in huge bursts. Boom. Crack. Interceptors do not have their Justice Car into level 2 and they don't have it. Brother Captain does have the Nemesis Warden Star so he can support those guys with the Ward quite nicely and alongside an Apothecary. That's going to be pretty good. He has armor of the Apothecary given that speed buff and a bunch of other stuff as you can see there. Granted Power Axe, pretty nice power weapon and improved medical equipment so he's gonna have really awesome energy management with the axe and the accessory what's going on here noise marines are still up looks like he doesn't want to risk getting the blast master don't blame him with all this melee they could split and mob it and take it down he does have the adrenal glands though and that wall was broken by that domino effect these are heavy crush walls which is why the chaos lord and the hive tyrant and brother captain and stuff can't walk through them terminators can walk through them though. Terminators are heavy crush and stuff like Dreadnoughts and Super Heavies can obviously get through them. 290, 378. Grenade Dreadnought hasn't leveled yet. He was charging up his plasma gun there. What was he shooting at? Oh, it was another plasma gun. This guy. Using this line of sight blocker to avoid it or not. It's always, I think he's manually aiming that. 290, 375. Fragmentation grenade beautifully hit on the CSM. Wow, there's some Nurgle worship when it's all kicking off in mid. Right Lance is up. Needs to be shooting at a Dreadnought really. Brother carries in trouble, heals himself, get knocked over. He's level 3 so his heal has been upgraded. Wartuck leaping in. Has that awesome disruption, the superb speed on her feet. She's got her spear also a pretty nifty power weapon, 65 DPS, and her shield is up, so she's incredibly annoying right now. Has a passive area of effect buff as well, but it's got a rather 
small range on it, so she's not buffing this stuff back here. It's a damage resistance buff, I think. Might do something else as well, maybe small suppression resistance. I don't think it does, though. 50% damage resistance, I believe. 290, 344, what's going on? Adrenal gland, former bots. Two of them. Do they have endless swarm? They do. Well, up to 10 models. That is painful. There is the sweeping doom and terminators on the field debuffing all of that stuff. A grenade as well. A flight grenade. Wow. 290, 339. That was awesome. Gets away without a squad loss. I think, in fact, he's got triple hormigons again. But that squad went down. Frenchman with a very amusing but not altogether effective so far build. Ran out Dreadnought getting his plasma cannon shots off. And Xenos Heresy is well into tier 3 and in fact has some Paladins on the way. Rare Chaos Terminus, I should say, with their default Twin Link Bolters and Power Fists. You saw their demoralizing debuff when they kill a model there on all of those Tyranids, which can stack up pretty nastily because both of their weapon upgrades have an area of effect component. 268339. Plague Champion now has his Plague Fist, Fetid, and Light Grenades. A bit of an odd combo, but we'll see how he does with it. Walks Rex up, teleporting in and tying up the Plaza Cannon, which retreats. And there's that deep up again from those Chaos Terminators. Don't want to take too many hits, though, with that Plasma Cannon. That was a Haywire Grenade on the Dreadnought, which is an incredibly annoying ability because it also disables weapons. And it lasts a good long while, as you saw there. I think it's a full 10 seconds, maybe even more than that. I don't think so, though. Play, play Marines up. Ouch. Instantly forced off by that Dreadnought. This Dreadnought has been awesome so far. They've got no answer for it. And it does have a last cannon as well. He's loitering up here, not sure what he's up to. Maybe he's going to hit power, but decides to come and help out versus this Dreadnought. And his power's going to get hit again. 245336. Predator tank on the field for Finale. And Blue Team doing superbly well. They have the 2 to 1 cap. They're pushing all the way down the west side because Lost Son of Nikhil was over on the right helping out. And mid. Predator tank now with a twin link las cannon. They do have that haywire grenade, that las cannon, plague marines. They have a decent amount of anti vehicle here. The plague fist of the plague champion is not that useful versus vehicles since he's so damn slow. But if a walker wants to come in and mix it up with a bunch of units, he can go in and help it out. Help out, take it out, I should say. Paladins back in away. Heavy melee terminator variant, very powerful have a health regeneration already these guys now and that's going to stack with the apothecaries as well not being very aggressive with his paladins they have a wrist mounted side cannon for extra killiness and plague is going absolutely disintegrated by stuff they need to run away because this warding staff is also a pretty nasty power weapon and those guys are whacked out ouch red team getting absolutely hammered over here and some friendly fire from the Granite Dreadnought. Might see a lot of that on the Paladins. 245287. Interceptors do have their Justice Car so they get their Furious Intervention Teleport. 245283. Toronto Formation went off over here. But he didn't use it to take down the Garrison. The Tyranid Blob of Death runs away from a Mark of Nurgle tank. Awesome. Gets a damage over time auto cannon. Does less, less damage per shot, but has that awesome DOT. Also gets 12, 25 hit points at level 1. And health regen, and perhaps the biggest buff is that it gets the melee resistance aura, which is 40% less damage taken from melee, which is a pretty sizable buff for a tank. Does reduce its speed, though, as you can see here. Very interesting upgrade for the Predator tank. 245, 262. Can he make it pay off here? He's taking less cannon hits. That's a rear armor. That was nasty. Lost Sun does have heretics, so he can repair. We're just backing ahead off at the moment. Need some help, maybe. 
still has his Chaos Terminators with their default weapons. Nothing wrong with that. Very good default weapons. They might want to turn the shooting body carry, but he's forced off before he can revive the Licta Alpha. The Nose Marines getting chased by everything ever. Does he have? He does have Demonic Massage, which is debuffing everything close to the Chaos Lord. He's level 8. He's done very well. Warps Rex, starts level 7. Look at this, all kitted out as well. Entangling Web. Enhanced Warp Jump Generator and Improved Target is working on that Plasma Cannon Devastator Squad. Play Champion, as we've seen, is kitted out. Level 3. Brother Kerry, level 4. And Brother Captain, the only commander not with a full war gear loadout. It's actually very difficult now to get a triple cap on this map because and down goes that Predator tank. Right, Lance getting the last hit, I think, because of the intense nature of it now. It's very difficult to force your opponent off and still have what you need to confidently push through and decap and cap their natural. We might see it here though from blue team. See Joker looks like he's lost a lot. Has this Marcos Inch Predator tank which is going to eat a crack grenade from the interceptors to a level 3. Black grenade has infected everything. Paladin's not too bothered. And he runs away. Level 4 now. What's that sound? That's an Eldritch Storm. Whoa! About 8 million Hormagons down. The Frenchman lost his entire army. Must have lost his warriors as well. 245262. That was insane. Frenchman now has absolutely nothing. Carn effects taken out. Look like it has a Venom Cannon as well. So that is a huge win for red team. Can they go on and win this now? I, I think they might be able to. Frenchman replacing his warriors, which is a strange choice at this point in the game. Victor Alpha did live. Is this the turning point for red team? Can blue team hold? There's a decent enough VPs to recover. Does Frenchman and his allies do have sizable and quite powerful armies. Level 4 Brother Captain chasing off those Terminators with that power weapon of his. 234, 262. This tank is done for. I think the Nurgle tank goes down. Down it goes. We have Tactical Marines with a missile launcher for Finale. Paladins well into enemy territory. That Bright Lance doing a lot of damage to them. They, whoa, deleted this tank which got too close. See Joker. 210, 262. Paladins. Running out, are they? Yes, they've obviously used their teleport, so need to run out and heavy crushing through the walls. 196, 262. And there's a heal from the Apothecary. And there's his advanced healing as well. How much does it actually heal by? I think it's a fixed percent percentage, I think. Not entirely sure though. Maybe it's not. Demonic Massage debuffing his Tactical Marines, but Chaos Lord is facing a tank and a Apothecary here. Oh, he's come to revive the Warps of Exar. And up he gets. That Eldritch Storm was pretty freaking epic. Fortunately, I only caught the end of it. How did Paladins get all their health back? He's got two Paladin scores. That's how. It's a different squad. Wow. Double Paladins. Dark Reapers are up. These guys now do Inferno damage, of course, so not quite as effective against that heavy or super heavy infantry armor, but much more normalized across all the infantry types. And they got a slight increase in their base DPS to compensate as well. 189, 198. Level 4 Noise Marines, maybe it is time to get the Blastmaster up put it in the middle or on the western side. It's a double for blue. They have held on incredibly well after Frenchman's losses who's just gone straight back to his double Hormogots with Ender Swarm and Adrenal Gland Warriors. It is a big blow to lose those Warriors though because their Synapse gets better as they level as is the same for all Synapses. 189171 more Chaos Terminators for the lost son of Nikel. 
these guys with an auto cannon, these guys with nothing on the way. Yet here come a bunch of tyrannies though. These feet of tendrils are a power melee weapon. And these terminators really don't want to stand here. Or do they? Bunch of support coming in from the Eldar. That's an orbital bombardment from one of the blue team. Not sure who. Finale and Xenoceracy both with a whole lot of red still. 189, 169. Did it do a lot? I don't think it did. We have double Dark Reapers, double Dire Avengers. War Target's still around. She's done well. Level 3. Up to 991 hit points, that's not bad. The tank's gonna go down surely. Auto cannon fires and the Bright Lance in fact gets the last hit. This little Bright Lance has done really well. 189, 169 is very close. Double paladins there. That's scary. Where's the other squad though? That's interceptors. I can't select the other one from the roster because they're out of Oh here they are. Having a fight with Mark of Corn Tail Space Marines. And there's Touch of Nurgle on these guys. It's not going to knock back those Paladins though. So, not really what you want to do. Generally don't want to use Touch of Nurgle when fighting melee Terminator variants. Unless you know it's going to get the job done because you're not going to knock them over. Which is where a lot of the power from Touch of Nurgle comes from. Brother Captain. Puts his ward on himself, 30% less damage for 10 seconds. 189, 137. He's preserved all of his stormtroopers as well. Kicking off on the west side again. Lightning Claw Terminators, Hail Terminators, I should say, for Lost Son of Nikel. In danger of wiping. They're going to eat another plasma cannon shot, are they? Yes, they are. Oh, they dodged it. Noise Marines are going to try and cap. Needs to tie up that plasma cannon, and, and there goes the Chaos Lord, the level 10 Chaos Lord, to do so under some corn worship there momentarily, in a way. Heretics are just loitering at the moment. Plasma cannon needs to be careful. No, the Chaos Lord needs to be careful. He's going to go down and retreat, is he? No. Yes, he does. Another Predator tank for Finale. Frenchman with quadruple Hormagons. He really has gone for the swarm army here. Awesome to see. Lost it. Just get it again. 189.92. Double predator, chaos predators for C Joker. Both pretty low. There's another orbital. Big champion up on his feet. We're talking very dangerous territory. That is Paladins in her retreat path. And a Grey Knight Dreadnought, which has done awesome as well. Now level 4, 1730 hit points. Plague Champion trying to cap, knocked down by the Plasma Cannon though. Dark Creepers can't do a whole lot to vehicles with the Inferno damage that they have. There's Phase Shift from the Vox up to no effect at all. Ouch, another good Light Grenade hit from Sea Joker. That will spread to targets, but the Paladin is not too bothered about that disease damage over time. What's going on over here? This swarm, the tide of Tooth and Claw moving towards the mid. Eldar fleeing in panic. 189.59. They do take their natural back though and grenade spikes are plenty. There's a Capri Tower. He does not care though. He just supports, supporting with pheromones. Level 5. Run into base. Base turrets now come into play. And he overextended there way too much. Now has to retreat all the way back to the north west base. Mark of Corn kills Space Marines level 2 in retreat. And they took Blue Team's natural. So 2 to 1 for red. Blue Team have the rest of the map though. And they should be able to take their natural back and see this game out. But this is a pretty crazy game so far. So you never know. Quadruple Hormagon. Seriously? Do they all have Endless Swarm as well? Yes. We're going to have. 40 Hormagons on the field. Does he even have enough pop for that? He easily does. 40 Hormagons. Under melee synapse. That's crazy. That's like, that's almost 8,000 hit points worth of Hormagons. 164.58 with an on-demand in-field reinforcement mechanic. 
can't do a whole lot to a predator tank though, not enough Formigots to be able to get into combat at once. And here we have Lightning Claw Terminators against the biggest melee blob I've ever seen. But they're forced off immediately, just too much stuff here for them. Eldar, capping west, is a 2 to to for red. Are they seriously going to pull this off? I should stop trying to predict the outcome, shouldn't I? Fire Prism is up for Frozen Vapor. Awesome. Ranged fire support platform for Eldar has an art artillery like spread or disperse shot, I believe it's called, that knocks stuff down, and a focus shot for large targets really is an awesome vehicle. But it only got 500 hit points, so can go down in a flash, especially with rear arm hits and stuff. Power Blades up for the level 10 Warp Spider Exarch. Level 5 Licks to Alpha, level 5 upon the carry. So his heal has been upgraded again. Great for supporting his Paladins. Level 10 Chaos Lord and a level 5 play Champion. There's Phase Shift. Now he's used it to actually stop something. Does he have an Eldritch? I don't think he does, no. So it's just to annoy those Formagons at the moment and it did very much annoy them. 12758, a crazy engagement now. This is a big three on three engagement basically. Look at that blob of Tyranids. Where's the Lictor Alpha? Is he in there? No, he's down. So he can't use his pheromones to support. 11858. Good grief, the amount of dead Tyranids. And they just mass retreat again. Hilarious. Play from Frenchman. He lost his warriors. Lost three of his former gun crews. Loses his Venom Brew. And that was terrible for Frenchman. 10458. Still has another Venom Brew, but not doing anything. And Red Team, I think, are going to pull this off because Frenchman, with his dedication to the melee swarm of Doom, might have cost his team the game here. Mark of Thorn CSM. Knocked on their asses by Tactical Marines, with, and they shall know no fear. But the carry heal goes in. Boxer Rex are trying to tie up this Dreadnought. In fact, he just uses the phase shift armor. Imperial Abyss by Lost Son of Nickel, I think. No, maybe Sea Joker. Global Nuke for Chaos, which was buffed recently. Now does slightly more damage outside the central circle of death. 88, 58, 1 to 1 cap. I can breathe easy. Everything has stopped shooting at each other for a few minutes, seconds, we'll see. Tier 3 licked up for Frenchman. Pretty awesome unit, honestly. High heavy melee damage. Can jump, can flesh hook, can infiltrate for free. Yes, you heard that right. Does not drain energy when he infiltrates. Awesome, awesome unit. Countered pretty nicely though by this fire prism if you can't jump behind it. Constant knockbacks, here come Paladins. And they have a side cannon as well to shoot at this guy while chasing. 77, 58, 1 ton cap. There's a webway gate. And the fire prism needs to keep moving. Might just be taken down by the side cannon here. Here come lightning claw terminators though. And these guys have used their teleport. They take down the fire prism. But now the ultimate infantry shredding unit. Lightning claw terminators are going to chase them down. Under some corn worship. 4,500 hit points, so not as much as Paladins, but these Lightning Claws are so nuts, they will easily deal with them if those Paladins try to turn and fight. That helped out a bit. And now comes the Cavalry. Blue Team weighing in with tons of range fire, including some Stone Guard veterans there, I believe. Yes, using their default Kraken Bolts. Eldritch, that would have been epic, but Blue Team spotted it, or maybe through sheer luck, dodged it there. Lightning Core Terminator is now going after Stone Guard veterans. What are they doing? Don't want to fight those guys for the Emperor. Eldritch Storm breaking stuff. 77, 29. Those guys get away okay. Triple Chaos Predators for Sea Joker. And he's got double markers each once. There's a crack grenade. Plasma Cannon Dreadnought also doing big damage. This guy's been awesome. Helping it out with the Stormtrooper repair for the whole game. Frenchman with another Warrior Brood. 
I haven't seen a whole bunch of carny fixes, which is refreshing. He had one and it was taken out. One that I saw in a way. Can whatever's trying to cap this VP cap it? Yes. No. It's not blue. It's going red again. 77.26. It's decap. There's an orbital. Has he put it in retreat path like a smart boy? Not really. Oh, he's used a phase shift. Well done. That's going to mean that none of this stuff takes damage. Excellent play by Frozen Vapor. 77.24. Really nice play. Quick thinking there. Who's this down? It's the Chaos Lord. Bit too much Chaos view today, I think. 73.24. Here comes more Hormagaunts. Because we haven't had enough of these guys, apparently. Hellfire rounds weighing in. Victor Alpha himself is down in this incredibly ruined park right now. Two to one cap for red. Can they defend this western victory point? There's the Tempest launcher. Bomb once forced off. Advanced healing on all of the Tyranids. A blight grenade. Lightning core terminate is decimating stuff left and right. Light Grenade now does more damage, of course, on its impact point compared to a few patches ago. I think that was Beta 7 that changed when in. It might have been Beta 6. 35 24. Double cap for red. Are they going to do this? Triple Chaos Terminators for Lost Son of Nickel. One with an auto cannon, one with claws, and these guys just with their twin link bolters so far. Death everywhere. Single cap for red. What is this? Tanks being chased down by double paladins and taken out. See, Joker just lost a lot of stuff. It's not over yet. So I think these paladins can cap this. They should be trying to cap it. There we go. GG says Lost Son of Nickel. And there's the phase shift to stop the cap. And red team win the game. A single cap taking it. Wow. Insane losses for all players. Apart from Xenos Heresy and Finale, actually, they did quite well in terms of unit preservation. Frozen Vapor also, you must say. Lost Son of Nikel kept his Noise Marines alive, but after that it's all Chaos Terminators and Heretics. Awesome, awesome stuff. There was an Avatar on the way as well. Just look at the Commanders. Lictor is down level 6 with his crazy melee swarm supported with his pheromones. In fact, all blue commanders are down. Brother Carry level 8. Brother Captain level 6. Chaos Lord level 10 and down. Level 10, Warp Miss Brother X up. Finishing a game there with that phase shift. Used it also nicely to dodge that nuke earlier. And a level 7 Plague Champion. But Grandfather Nurgle takes home the win. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.